one man's final journey home to La Gomera in the Canary Islands. Crossing the sea from the neighboring island of Tenerife. His nearest and dearest want to bury him on the island where he was born and bred. It's great that burials are free here. There are people here who can't afford to pay for all of this. I don't know where all the money is coming from for all of that, but we're benefiting from it. On the island of La Gomera, the local government pays for funerals, for the burial, the coffin, a gravestone, and the funeral director's costs, even for a floral tribute. The burial insurance policy costs the authorities 600,000 euros a year. The head of the council believes that you shouldn't scrimp and save in this respect. This is an essential service and we are proud of it. The citizens of La Gomera deserve it. This quick and humane service makes things easier for the families. The island with its 22,000 inhabitants has become an exception in Europe with its cradle-to-grave welfare coverage. But funeral director Toribio Artiega Arma isn't happy. He could earn more if burial was a private affair. Some relatives would decide for an upscale coffin. The island's council opts for a more modest model an anachronistic state intervention in the funeral director's opinion. It doesn't make any sense being Europeans and taking this approach. I don't think this makes the island any more prosperous. On the contrary, I think it makes it poorer. There are increasing calls for the local government to invest in other areas. For example, for the replanting of unique woodlands raised in last year's forest fires. For environmentalist Ruben Martinez Carmona, that's just one of the many problems that people on La Gomera face. Our unemployment rate is the highest in the Canary Islands, and the Canary Islands have the worst jobless figures in Spain. Spain has the highest unemployment rate in Europe, and we're paying for people's funerals? Incredible. Why aren't we investing in something productive, in the living rather than the dead? One problem of the free burial policy is that it applies to all Gomerans, even those who are well off. Someone who earns 200, 300,000 euros a year doesn't need this assistance. But the island's council doesn't see itself in a position to means test Gomeran families. They say that it would be too costly and difficult. Many Gomerans live abroad. Just imagine a Gomeran dies in Venezuela. How can we check their financial means? That would be impossible. If someone has enough money to pay for their own burial, then they should voluntarily forego the free service. But it's true. No one does. The island council has just renewed its funeral insurance policy for another three years. They'll probably abolish it one day if the crisis continues. If the island's council runs out of money, then they'll no longer be able to pay for our funerals, but at the moment they still can. Three hundred people are buried on La Gomera each year. When patients die in hospitals on the big islands, it's costly to repatriate the bodies. And yet, the island's free burial service is a blessing for many. <laughs>